Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. The nursing home population has fallen by 100,000 residents or 10% since the beginning of the year, according to a Wall Street Journal news report. The main cause cited was complications related to the COVID-19 pandemic. The occupancy decrease reflects several factors, including family members who chose to remove their loved ones from facilities, deaths, and people who opted not to enter nursing homes amid the pandemic. The news organization used data released by CMS last week, which represented the first publicly available data on nursing homes since the pandemic began. The latest CMS data, which spawned the Wall Street Journal analysis, is exciting and significant for the field, said Brian Jerutka, president of the National Investment Center for Senior Housing and Care. In May, CMS started requiring nursing homes to submit COVID-19 related data to the CDC in an effort at public transparency. The data released by CMS last week includes suspected and confirmed deaths from COVID-19, occupancy levels, and the amount of personal protective equipment on hand. CMS will be providing weekly data updates. Among the trends the CMS data can help to reveal is how properties are faring with COVID-19, the impact of the broader community penetration rate on a facility, and how the availability of PPE might be affecting mortality rates, Jerudka said. The initial CMS data has limitations as the Wall Street Journal News report indicated, for example, only 12,000 nursing homes out of the nation's total of 15,000 submitted acceptable data for the most recent period surveyed. And nursing homes could choose not to report COVID-19 deaths prior to May, but it offers a starting point. Quote, it's not a complete or accounting or understanding, but gosh, we have to start somewhere, Jerutka said. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.